If you go on LinkedIn and search for data science profiles, you get close to 650k profiles. If I combine senior data scientist and junior data scientist with this, I get close to 1.2 million profiles. Now let me ask you guys, in this 1.2 million profiles, how do you say that you are special or how do you say that you know more than most of these people? One of the way to say that is by doing certifications. There are different ways, but one of the ways by doing certifications. In this video, I am going to tell you a step by step process which I followed to do one of the most well known certification in the world of data science known as AWS machine learning specialty. Okay? So, I am going to tell you the entire story guys. Before that, please go ahead and press the like button and the subscribe if you have not done yet and please share Unfold Data Science videos with your friends so that I stay motivated. Let's see the details. Here is the agenda guys that we are going to discuss. Okay, So, we will see exam overview like how the exam is and then we are going to see stepwise path to prepare that I followed and you can follow something similar to this or at least you can take a guidance from this. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you how not to fail in the exam. So uh, this exam is not an easy exam. So I'll tell you something that I have learned. Okay. And my personal tips, which is different from how not to fail. I'll give you that. And what after certifications? Okay. If you do the certification successfully with lot of hard work, then what are we going to do after that? Let's see all this one by one guys. First of all, let me show you exam overview. Okay, so I am talking about AWS ML speciality. Let me write it here. I am talking about AWS ML speciality. So this is basically a speciality level certification in AWS. Okay, what is the meaning of a speciality level certification? Let me show you something from the AWS page. Okay, so if you go here, guys, I have zoomed it. Let me zoom out for different tracks. Um, AWS gives you different certification paths. Okay, so for example, these are for different different tracks. Uh, we are not interested in this. Let's see the ML path. Okay, AI ML path. In AI ML path, if you see right, so research, build, design AI system to automate predictive model and design machine learning system models and schemes. Okay, here are the here is the path that AWS suggests you. So first of all, AWS tells you to do a cloud practitioner foundational. Then it tells you to do a solution architect associate level certification. And then one of these two you can go for or you can have an idea of this. And finally, in the end, there comes the specialty level certification. Okay, because if you don't know all these things, then this certification is going to be difficult for you. Now, have I done all these? I have done AWS certified cloud practitioner, but I have not done a solution architect. Neither I have done a sysops administrator. Why? Because I have experience working in AWS. So, you know, that thing makes up for these certifications. Okay, but still I will tell you how I took care of not doing these and directly doing machine learning speciality. I will talk about that, but this is the path that AWS recommends you. Remember this speciality comes in the end. Now let me go to the um, let me go to the AWS page to show you what AWS tells you about this certification. Okay, so first of all. Uh, okay, let me go to. I have opened many things, so I'm slightly confused. Okay, so this is the one uh, page of the AWS ML specialty certification. Okay, so just few basics about the certification. This credential help organization identify and develop talent with critical skills for implementing cloud initiatives. So you, you will be someone who is good with cloud. You can help somebody to implement cloud solutions in machine learning. Okay, what is this exam about? First of all, this exam will cost you $300. So you can't afford to fail in this. Okay, $300, 180 minutes of exam, 65 questions. And uh, this is how the format of the exam is. Okay, now what kind of question can I expect in this? So as you can see here, AWS tells you at least two years of hands-on experience in developing, architecting and running ML or deep learning cloud workloads in AWS cloud, which means AWS is recommending two years of experience in cloud to do this certification. Okay, that's the recommendation, but it's not a mandate. Okay, so I will tell you how to prepare now. And these, these are the basics that you need to know. 
Now let's go ahead and try to see some of the questions. One or two only we will see. For example, I have clicked on download the sample question and this is what AWS gives you. So if you can see on my screen guys, I will just read one question, okay? Just to give you idea of how it will be. A machine learning team has several large data sets in CSV, in S3. Historically, model builds in the Amazon SageMaker linear learner algorithm have taken hours to train on similar size data. The team team's leader need to accelerate the training process. So what can you do as a machine learning specialist? Okay. Can you use the SageMaker pipe mode or you can use a machine learning to train the model or you can use Kinesis or you can use glue. So this is one example of what type of questions you can expect. This is on AWS website itself. Okay. So I'm just trying to give you a high level view of the exam now. Now let me tell you how can you prepare for this? Okay. So the preparation for this exam will be guys in a multi-step process. Remember, it will take few months. It is not a one week, two week thing. Okay. It will at least take two, three months easily that to dedicate it. Okay. First of all, you have to be at this level. I will call this level zero. Okay. Assuming that you don't know anything about cloud world, then I will call this as level one. Okay. Level one. And then I will call this as level two. Let me call it L2. So you have to come from level zero to level one. This will take some time. And then from level one to level two, this will take some time. So I'm assuming you don't know anything about cloud computing. You are at zero. I'm assuming that from there, let me start few things. Okay. First of all, you have to know things about the cloud computing. And for that, I have dedicatedly created a playlist on Unfold Data Science that you can watch. And it will give you a good understanding of what is the world of cloud computing. So you can see this playlist, guys. There are 14 videos, AWS for Data Science, 14 videos. These videos are long. Okay, these are not short videos. These videos are long. Watch this. And then you will be at some level in knowing that what is cloud computing, okay? And how this relates to you know, machine learning and AI. So if you watch this, you will know that. Once you do this, then what you have to do is you have to watch a video called how I passed AWS CCP in 10 days that I had created a few months back. If you see four months back, I created this video, how I cleared AWS CCP. Now what is CCP? CCP is foundation level exam, okay? So if you go to the path given by AWS, right? So this one, right? So CCP is the first one, okay? So once you know basics of cloud computing and then you do CCP, right? AWS CCP, which I have told you in this video how to prepare for that or at least how I prepared for that. I told you in this video. Watch this video, prepare it and give this exam. Now this is a $100 exam, okay? So this also, you cannot afford to fail, but still it's a $100 exam. So you can see about it, okay? But remember, for passing this exam, you have to prepare like the way I have explained in this video. Once you do my playlist and once you follow the path that I told in that video to pass AWS CCP, right? So I will write here from level zero when you come to level one, I will say here, no nothing, okay? No nothing, okay? Level one is completed, completed, completed AWS CCP. CCP means Certified Cloud Practitioner, okay? So for completing this exam, you need to know many things about the cloud computing. I already told you how to do that. Once you do these two things, then only you are you can plan for level two, that is the specialty certification, okay? For specialty certification, I'm going to tell you how I studied and then you can take some reference and you can plan plan your journey, okay? So your current situation might be different than my current situation. So my current situation was, I was exposed to AWS, I was working in AWS for some years and I knew things, okay? For you, it may be different, but listen out to me, whatever I'm trying to tell here. So first of all, what I did is, as I told in my last video, I did AWS CCP, right? Certified Cloud Practitioner. Then I went to study about, not take the exam study about there is a difference okay so studying about something and taking the exam there is a difference so what i did is i went to this portal which which i have used for all my studies till now so this portal is known as a cloud group okay this portal is known as a cloud group okay so i went to this portal 
and I did, I study. Remember, I did not take the exam, but I studied for Solution Architect. Now, if you ask me what is Solution Architect, this is Solution Architect, that is second level, okay? So I studied for that here. Because that was not my target to pass the exam, I did not give that exam, but I ensured that I knew the concepts mentioned here, okay? After that, I picked the developer associate, okay? And I did not do the certification, but I ensured that the concepts here are known to me, okay? The concepts here should not be something foreign to me, something known to me, okay? Because if I'm not confident on these two, I cannot go for machine learning specialty. So as I'm telling you, I went to this portal. In this portal, you will find certification for all those things. Certificate, certification giving is, giving is your choice, but learning is you know different from certification giving. You can just learn and not appear for the certification, okay? That you can do, but ensure that you learn about those two things. One disclaimer here, this portal is kind of a, a subscription portal, which will charge you every month if you take the, the subscription. So basically what you have to plan is if you take the subscription, then give the exam as soon as possible. And if you have a visibility of next two, three months where you can dedicate some time, give that time, then take the subscription and utilize the portal, okay? It also gives you a sandbox kind of environment to practice, okay? So remember, if you take a membership, then uh, you should have time dedicated for this portal and studying time. So once you clear, I'm not saying clear. Once you learn about these, these areas, then let's go ahead and learn about how did I prepare for machine learning specialty, okay? So machine learning specialty also, because that was my target examination, okay? So machine learning specialty also, you will find a course here, but I did not do only one course. I did multiple courses, okay? So one course I did on a cloud group portal. Then I saw some of the reviews of Udemy courses and I did one course from Udemy. This is the course I did from Udemy. So AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty 2023 hands-on, okay? And I'm showing you this. This was kind of uh, recommended by many people. So I did this, but there are problem with this course also. And there are problem with a cloud group course also. I will tell you what are those problems. But first, what materials I referred, right? So this is one thing that I referred to. This is a good one. And you can take it, it is not very expensive also. A cloud grew is a subscription model, so it will become expensive over the months. But again, this is worth it if you are, you know, if you want to practice and if you want to do multiple things, all, all the things it will provide in one portal, you can check it, okay? So these two courses I did, but the most important thing guys, how do I know that where do I stand, right? Very, very important to know which areas I'm lagging. There will be four areas the exam will test you on, okay? So one area will be data preparation, other areas will be EDA kind of thing, third area will be um, modeling and fourth area will be ML uh, implementation, ML ops kind of area. So which area I am good at and which area I am lagging, how I will know that? The answer to that is after doing one round of study from here and one round of study from here, right? I started giving some mock exams and these are the mock exams that I gave. So first mock exam, if I want to open it here, right? So as you can see, AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty Practice Exam 2023. You can take the reference from here and purchase. These exams are decent, not bad. I will not say that great, but decent. You can take that, okay? And what is the advantage of these exams? Let me show you. For example, if I take practice test one, right? So see, 75% is the pass marks. I got 75%. Now I can go and review this, okay? So let me show you what I mean by review. I will go here and I will say in all knowledge areas, what is my score, okay? Or I can say, give show me only incorrect ones. For example, this is one incorrect answer that I answered in that practice exam, okay? So I can go here, read this question, and I can, I can analyze that. What mistake I did? Why did I choose the wrong option? Now pay attention here, guys. What mistake I did and why did I choose the wrong option? do that analysis there is the explanation for this all the options okay so why somebody choose option one what is wrong with option one what is wrong in my understanding of the concept what is wrong in my understanding of this okay and similarly if you go to this one right what is wrong in your understanding of activation function what is wrong why did you choose softmax why you did not choose sigmoid now some of you who is attending my live quiz they will be noticing that some of the quiz questions are from here, 
and I'm putting that knowingly because these questions actually test your concepts. Okay, actually test your concepts. So if I put these questions, then only I will know what is wrong with my concepts. And I did not give one or two exam guys. As you can see, I give six exams here. Then I gave few exams here. This one I failed as you can see some of these I failed also. Okay, so don't bother if you fail. You just have to go to review questions and you just have to see incorrect ones and see what was wrong. Why did you why did you pick the wrong option? Okay, go back to the concept. Read that again. Why did you pick that wrong option? That is you have to do this again and again again and again. So if you ask me, I appeared for at least five, six, you know, if you ask me how many practice questions I appeared for maybe 1000 practice questions. Okay. So I did few practice questions from here. And if you go and do Google on AWS machine learning specialty practice questions, you will get many portals where they are giving questions. Okay. All those places I went and I evaluated out of these four areas. As you can see, I was telling you four areas of exam, right? You can see data engineering, EDA, modeling and ML implementation out of these four areas, which areas I'm lagging in. Okay. Then I go back which concepts I'm lagging in. Then I go back and read that that concepts from my course material number one. Okay. And from AWS documentation. Okay. So course material will not be enough guys. You have to read that particular concept which you think you are weak at from AWS documentation. Okay. So go to the AWS documentation and read about those concepts. So this process needs to be repeated multiple times. Take practice exam. See where you are lagging. Go to your course, read about that and go to AWS documentation and read about that. OK. Now I was telling you about few issues with these courses. OK. One big issue with these courses are these courses are created in 2019-20 that time. And obviously they write here 2023 and they try to update it. But the world is changing very fast. OK. So AWS introduced 10 new things every six months. So they will not have a lot of lot of focus on those new things. So basically course they try to keep it updated, but they don't go in that much depth. What is needed based on if you appear for the exam in August 2023, then you may need to learn things on your own. So how you will learn things on your own. OK, so as I told you, what is the issue with this and a cloud group courses also? These are not updated for current exam. These are not bad, but not updated for current exam. So how I did take care of that? I went to AWS documentation and I saw what are the new things that has been introduced. So as you can see here, new features for reInvent 2022. These are the new features that has come in AWS. Okay, go and read about these features. Fine. Once you read about these features, ensure that you don't miss anything important and then you learn about existing features of SageMaker. So I'm into SageMaker latest page. This is a very simple page, Amazon SageMaker developer guide. There will be a major features, okay? Read about all these features from AWS page, plus the new features that is coming in AWS, plus all these new implementation of SageMaker notebooks, et cetera, whatever is coming, okay? Once you do all these things together, right? Then you have to do one last thing. You have to go to media also and read about what is happening in the world of AWS. Those may those things may not be much in the exam, but still, if you know that's better. For example, this is the article of November 30, 2022. AWS announces eight new Amazon SageMaker capabilities, right? So I want to know about that. Why? Because I'm appearing for AWS exam machine learning specialty, right? So I want to be capable of knowing I want to know what are the new things in the world. So from the media also I read about these things. OK, what is new in the world of AWS? OK, if you do these things together now, there are three key things I'm talking here, guys. First, take the practice exam. See where you are lagging. Go and read about those from AWS documentation plus the courses you have purchased. Second, don't miss to read about the new features and new capabilities of AWS SageMaker from documentation and existing ones also. And third, from the media also, you can get few information that may be useful for you. Okay. So if you see this, if you combine everything together that we have discussed till now, right, then you will be ready to take the level two. Okay. And you can complete specialty exam, complete level two. Okay. Don't worry. Sometimes you will not get good marks in practice exam. Like, like I was also not getting. Okay. 
डोंट वरी जस्ट सी विच एरिया यू आर वीक इन कम बैक स्टडी गो टू एडवलेज डॉक्यूमेंटेशन स्टडी अबाउट दैट अगेन ओके बट इफ यू ट्राई टू डू एम एल स्पेसिलिटी विदाउट नोइंग अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट सच एस वीपीएन वीपीसी नेटवर्क गेट वे हाउ टू डू नेटवर्क आइसोलेशन मेनी थिंग्स लाइक दिस राइट विच इज कवर्ड इन एज आई वॉज टेलिंग यू राइट which is covered as part of solution architect which is covered as part of developer associate right then you will struggle in machine learning specialty okay there is no shortcut guys let me be very brutally honest with you there is no shortcut okay if you don't know these things you will struggle in the exam so as i told you how to go from step 0 to step 1 and step 1 to step 2 i already told you take that path this will be helpful for you but why so much of hard work what what will happen after this right so i told you how not to fail if you if you keep yourself updated with all the latest thing you will not fail okay my personal tips keep giving exam identify weak areas and prepare on that what after certification you can do many things first of all change your linkedin uh title and amazon can be one of the target companies which you can go after this certification okay and there can be other target companies as well identify where aws work is happening in machine learning space go to those companies and start applying this certification has got some real weight is guys okay this is not any random certification so if you do it successfully then you can take the next next you know uh, step in your career you can take your career to the next level okay so this was all about my experience guys now some of you may take a different path but i told you what i took and i told you how i passed so it depends on you how you want to take it further from here please comment me if you have any confusions any doubts i'll definitely respond to you i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care